Well, in my heart and my mind, you know, life begins when the mother thinks it begins, not when anybody else thinks it begins. For some women, it's before they conceive. For some women, it's never. Even after they deliver, it's still a problem, not a baby. At this point, does it have, like, all of its organs and all of that stuff? Like, is it already fully It's not developed? fully developed. Um, okay. It doesn't even look like, it doesn't even look like a baby yet. It doesn't? Technically, it has its organs. It has parts, like, we all have parts, but it's not done. So, like, does it have a face or, um, like, all of that stuff? Or? Yeah, kind of, okay. yeah. I mean, it has what it's developing into. Right, okay. Sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I don't want you to torture yourself. You're 27 weeks. Uh, you're in about six months into the okay. pregnancy. Is it like, is it a baby? Well, what, how, what do you consider a baby? <laughs> it's definitely I guess. a fetus. <laughs> Medical de definition of a baby, I think, is technically until it's born. Until then, when it's in gestation, it's considered a fetus. So, um, it depends what the term baby means to you. <laughs> oh. And how you perceive it. <laughs> like, it has all its parts and stuff? I just am trying to um, think, like... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does it. It's it's developed um as far as um in terms of um surviving on its own. Yeah, um, I guess that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, it it would have difficulty, but um and need assistance at this point. Okay, so um the last thing to develop on on the fetuses are like their lungs, really. Uh -huh. So it would probably have difficulty breathing and need assistance, like with the incubator. It would have to probably probably spend some time in the hospital before. You would take it home. Okay. Would that hap Could that happen? Today, no. That will not. That will not happen in this process. Okay. It will not be able to survive. I won't be able to survive. No, not at all. <laughs> okay. So it's like having a baby, but mm -hmm. a dead stillborn. baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, okay. Stillborn. Oh, that's what. What is stillborn? Stillborn is a is a dead baby. Really. Cannot do a termination once it's outside of the body. Okay, he has to resuscitate it, and he has to send it to the hospital. Re yep, that's the law. Okay. But if, that's why a termination is done inside. He does a termination inside, and then he removes the pregnancy. So normally he just kills it inside, so that wouldn't be... Well, okay. we don't use the word kill, but... Oh, yeah, <laughs> okay, or, or terminate. Oh, you guys say terminate. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to make it like... No, just because that's what's happening. Depending on who's talking... Uh, um, yeah. Depending on what you consider life, conception of life, or whatever, when that term, when that pregnancy is inside the uterine area and it's under 24 weeks, it can be do you can do a termination. If it's over 24 weeks, you cannot do a termination in New York State law. And then step two is that we do the uh, injection, which is a quick poke through your belly, um, and. And that stops the fetal heart, so that makes it so if you were to deliver, there shouldn't be movement, there shouldn't be any of those things. Okay. So it's almost like we're guaranteed it's like, we're okay. It's a, yeah, okay. We, we induce a demise, an intrauterine demise. What does demise mean? Um, death. We use a suction. combination of suction and then real instruments to literally go in and grab and pull pieces out. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's usually, that's a little more graphic than you should describe it. And the baby will come through. It'll compress down and come through that because it's not alive. And so when you say compress down, it just it gets soft, like mushy. Oh. So you put you push it through. So what makes the baby mushy? <laughs> the fact the fact that it's not alive for two or three oh. days. So I'll have a dead baby in me for three days. Yeah. Will it start to decay or something? No. Oh. Well, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like putting meat in a crock pot. Okay, it doesn't get it doesn't get broke, but it gets gets softer. It doesn't get infected or. Okay, you know. so the dead baby in me is like it's meat in a crock pot. Pretty much, yeah, kind of much. All right, all right. In a slow and, cooker. And what do you use to break it up? Just oh, the whole bunch of it. <laughs> <laughs> Got a toolkit. You know, pickaxe, a drill, but you know. <laughs> I see. So, okay. No, I mean there's all there's just instruments that have been developed. I have better luck standing in front of a train and getting hit and surviving than, than going 100 miles an hour than the baby. Um, to insert the injection, it's going straight into the um, into the sac 
and to the pregnancy, okay? It's bottom down. It'll insert through the, the baby's bottom, okay? okay if so it's, it's the head down, it'll be inserted through the head, the cranium. Does it, so, does it feel that? Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, hmm. I, that'd be a good, I don't believe so. Um, hmm. I don't know if it's developed enough to feel that. Hmm. Um, okay. It might be. Okay. Does that idea bother you? Um, a little bit, I guess. Like, okay. I mean, what about you? Like, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel that it's, um, necessary for the procedure to happen and, ultimately um safest and kind of the most kind of humane way to do it you know and then it's just i mean like any shot you know like a okay. flu shot or a vaccine really just like a flu shot or vaccine yeah, okay yeah and it's not like you and i where when we get a flu shot we're kind of ooh, not that that experience yeah. of anxiety and suffering is not it's not capable of Okay. And so that, I think, helps us all to feel more comfortable with this. Yeah, to know that it's not, like, um, yeah. Not, not, yeah. A, not yeah. a thinking being in the same way that, that you and I are. Right? Okay. It takes It takes a lot of life to get to have, to be worried about stuff the way that we worry about stuff, right?